What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for toy stores? Hey, nerdlings, it's Jasmine from Nerdy Blasian Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lacey collecting right now. Well, shout out to a friend of ours who uh, hopefully watches the channel. Nikki let us know about a fun toy store about, uh, what, 30, 40 minutes of drive, depending on how fast someone's going. Because it's a I new toy store and she wants to get there fast. follow the speed limits. Don't listen to him. On the road again. Where are we going this time? <laughs> and why are we going to this somewhat close to us town? Toys. Toys, of course. Check it out at Toy Shop. So this is called Peddler's Post. It is in Bolivar, Missouri. Bolivar. Why, why do you say it like that? <laughs> it helps me remember the names. I'm, I'm Oliver. Oliver. Oh, it's just this thing I do to remember people's names. Natalie. So when Nikki told us about this store, she was letting us know that there were all kinds of retro toys there. There were some games there. There was a flea market section upstairs because there's multiple levels of this place. And he goes, do you want to look up pictures? I was like, why? Why? <laughs> you said toys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this place was amazing. Yeah. One of the first things that really caught my eye was the sheer amount of G.I. Joe stuff. Now, that was something that I used to love to collect and play with as a child. So seeing all of these old G.I. Joe figures, some of the bases, uh, probably like five or six USS flags. I never had that one. But seeing all of this stuff, it was just flooding me with memories. It was almost like a scavenger hunt. So you walk around like, oh, there's a flag. There's a flag. There's a flag. And it, they just have stuff piled on it. There were honestly vehicles that I had as a kid and had completely forgotten about until I saw them again. So this place was amazing. You noticed that it wasn't just full figures and stuff No, too. the thing that I thought was really cool about it was they had pieces of ships or figures or weapons or whatever it was. So if you collect something and it wasn't complete, you could find the bits and pieces. They even had stickers. They even had things of stickers. Basically anything you were looking for to finish out that figure or that ship or that you know, car, whatever, they had it. And it wasn't just G.I. Joe. No, they had He-Man, they had just about any figure you could think of, pieces of them. Yeah, it, like you said, the He-Man stuff, there were so many Masters of the Universe toys, play sets, vehicles. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some figures that came bundled with their books, which as a kid, I remember reading the little comics. <laughs> I love that, getting that backstory on some of these characters. And as far as 80s stuff goes, I saw some Thundercats toys, which was very cool. It wouldn't be a toy store without Star Wars aplenty. Overwhelmed. Holy cow. Which is also something that smacks you right in the face the minute you walk in, is a giant cardboard Millennium Falcon just hanging from the ceiling. I don't care what you say, this is not a Star Wars thing. This is a Dalek who went on a diet. Yeah. <laughs> that one row of the yeah. Star Wars figures was impressive. I mean, we're talking probably everything from the original Kenner stuff to things that were coming out with the prequel trilogy and then even the sequel trilogy and the original trilogy. <laughs> like, and, and the movies in between. <laughs> look, if you like Star Wars, they had you covered. They also had Ninja Turtles. Oh, the Ninja Turtles. They had a great selection of Turtles figures. I didn't see as many Turtles vehicles. No, mostly just the figures. But yeah, the figures, they definitely had them on display. And then my favorite section. Oh no. Oh no. Out of my way. 
Go over there. No, go that way. Go this way. Oh, the Marvel the stuff. The Marvel section. I was so worried you weren't leaving that section until you spent two or three hundred dollars. I was trying to be good because I know that I could go a little crazy. And the nice thing is, the majority of the figures they had that I would want. Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> now, it wasn't just Marvel. There were some great DC were some things DC. tucked in there. Yes. Wolverine or Sling Blade? Mm-hmm. French fried potatoes covered with poutine. But it was kind of fun that all of the superhero stuff was in that little alcove. So yeah, so it was easy kind to of find. keep it centralized. It's for you, bub. There were some comics... And again, there were some video games, nothing that was really jumping out at me, but just having that variety of thing in one shop was really cool. And as far as the toys, I mean, not to really call out anything specifically, but we did see some oddball stuff there too. A figure or two from this show or that show. So yeah, so, it was... yeah some fun stuff, just kind of random odds and ends. had this as a kid. I bought it at a garage sale. No idea what it was, but I liked it because it slid back and you had like this command center in here. I think mine was in just about the same condition. No top piece. Yeah. Look at all the heroes riding ponies. And just hanging out on the dollhouse. It's definitely a store that I don't think I would go to every weekend. Um, now maybe if we lived in Bolivar, that might be a different story. <laughs> but it's definitely something that I would think to go check out once a month or once every other month or something. Oh, definitely. Just to see the new stuff that has, you know, come in. See what's and, cycled yes. through. Now, my only complaint about the store, and that's just because I'm a chicken, he didn't price anything. Basically, you pick up whatever you want, you go up front and you kind of haggle and you he you ask him what he wants for something and you know kind of bargain or whatever i am terrible at that i feel terrible doing that i just want to know the price of something so that i know okay i can get this or no i don't because i also don't want that embarrassment of walking up there with something and they're like yeah that'll be a hundred dollars and be like <laughs> no no okay i personally would prefer him to put some kind of price on there and then let you know he's willing to haggle but that's just me because I'm, I'm a scaredy cat. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, it should be said that this is a more collector centered store. Mm -hmm. So don't, come on guys, be reasonable. Don't expect to go in there and find the USS flag for five bucks or something. Cause we would have brought home five of them. <laughs> but they know what the stuff is worth there. However, that being said, because there aren't prices on things, it does open it to make a deal. Yeah. Just, you know, be reasonable about it because these guys, they love this stuff. They're passionate yeah. about these toys. So they're not just going to hand it over. And to I you. do feel like the more you buy, the more they're willing to bargain too. Well, speaking of, you did pick up a few things. I did. I, I left with nothing except, you know, just, I guess, hopes that we could actually get you out of there. <laughs> well, the first thing I bought, a... Uh, Ninja Turtle. I just thought he was funny because he's got, you know, Donatello's markings with Shredder's bits and pieces to He's him. really cool looking. Yeah, he is. I, I liked his, his grinny smile too. Do you remember, was this a NECA figure? This is one of the okay. NECA figures, yes. One I, of the new ones. I thought that might be the case because some of the stuff that they put out, they really like to do the, uh, the shading mm -hmm. throughout the body to, yeah. to give it like that pop art look to it. Yep, I definitely, definitely am happy with him. The next thing I got is something that I found a while ago at a flea market and I didn't even know these toys existed. <laughs> so ever since then I have been on the hunt for more of them and it's from my favorite movie of all time, The Mummy. 
And this is actually the one that I wanted to find the most, so I knew I didn't care how much this one was going to cost. I mean, if it was going to be 50 bucks alone, I probably would have said no, but, <laughs> but uh, I was super excited to get the princess. So I really wished, though, that they had done a complete line of toys from this movie and had more of the non-mummified version, but basically all the toys of it are mummies. I wish they had done, you know, Emotep and and uh, Anaxuna Moon and Rick obnoxious and Evie. Obnoxious Raccoon. Yes, Obnoxious Raccoon. And Rick and Evie toy lines. But this is as good as I can get, so I cannot wait to take her out of the box and play with her. Nope. It would have been nice if they had an Evie figure to <laughs> take her out of the box. <laughs> Now the next thing I picked up, uh, he was actually just kind of off in the corner by the video games. And uh, it's this really cool King Viper from Spawn. And I honestly actually had no idea who he was at first. I was just like, dude, look at that figure. That is cool. And he's got chains all over him and everything. He was just really neat looking. Spawn has some ridiculous cool Spawn does. Cool it, is a, it is a McFarlane figure, which McFarlane does amazing work. And Spawn and McFarlane together do wonders. I mean, his face, first of all, he is gruesome, but the way his head flares back like a cobra, that's really, really cool as far as like a, a monstrous figure goes. And of course, being half man, half snake, or I guess one third man, two thirds snake, <laughs> leads down into his slithering body where it branches off into all of these various like tails, pieces? Yeah. The chains. The chains actually really caught my eye first. I was like, you know, you don't see too many toys that have chains on them. Yeah, and it's a nice actual metal chain mm -hmm. too. So they didn't cheap it out and go with some kind of a Weird plastic, plastic chain knockoff. Here, I'm your buddy now. Oh, the snake's whispering sweet nothings into his ear. <laughs> and then from the Marvel corner, I actually did pick up a few tiny figures. I got myself a nice little Spider Woman with her fly webs. She can fly. We can fly. You can fly. We can fly. The neat thing about it is it's got all the articulations of the big figures. I was really impressed with all the articulation in this little tiny toy. Wee! It's like a snake ride at the carnival. <laughs> Wee! Now another small figure that I got was a nice little Hawkeye because I love Jeremy Renner. And it looked just like him, so I could have a little tiny Jeremy Renner in my pocket. Freaking Hawk guy. Freaking Hawk, I maybe I'm as super as they are. And then the last action figure I got, um, I actually didn't know anything about this guy. I had to ask um, a friend of ours called Comic Rob, and he's Comic Rob for a reason. He's obsessed with Spider Man. See, that is a button you cannot press with me, mate, because I know I'm a bigger Spider-Man fan than you. You got, what, one, two, maybe three games? Oh, Booby. Booby. Have you completed them yet? Bless you. Because I knew it was Spider-Man, but I had no idea he's missing parts of his clothes. He's got stitches all over him. He's got a cybernetic arm. He's got an eye patch. His, I mean, he's just kind of beat up. And apparently this is Cyborg Spider-Man. 100% he had to have been a product of the 90s because in the 90s... It God, was, they love that cybernetic arm. I was going to say it was all about trying to reinvent all oh, the Oh, well, superheroes. that. But I just remember everybody because had one of those cybernetic you arms. You had, like, Aquaman. He was all tough and cool with losing a hand and getting a harpoon instead. Or, <laughs> you know... Batman comes along and he's got the new out. Well, you had a different Batman wearing the different outfit and stuff like that. And even that uh, cool guy, Ponytail Thor, what was his name? Like Thunderstruck yeah, or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Wow, it's like they're, yeah. they're fine how they are. Stop, just stop. And then the last thing I got from Marvel Corner is a really cool lunch tray. I absolutely love these. This is my third one that I have got. When I was a kid, we had a strawberry shortcake one. That was the only one we ever had. But as an adult, we've got a Pac-Man one, a Mario one, and now I've got an awesome Marvel X-Men one because you and I absolutely love the 90s X-Men. 
Yeah, in fact, uh, every Saturday morning we get our breakfast together. We and do. We watch an episode of X Men. <laughs> and we have running tallies of how many times Storm falls, Professor screams like a madman, or Jean has one of her Jean gasms. And Jean Grey's X gasms. Is it weird that this is kind of turning me on? X-Men, better than the movies. Yeah, something we realized we should have done that we forgot to count was every time Logan goes, Gene! Latte for Gene! 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 I don't think there's enough tallies in the world I'm for just that. glad we're tallying it and not doing a drinking game. So this is a great piece from 1994. It is a little beat up in spots. Obviously it's got some dents and dings, some slight rust, but fortunately all of those issues are happening away from the main art. Well, final thoughts. How did the store stack up to your expectations, if any? It exceeded my expectations. I was literally <laughs> overwhelmed the minute I walked in the door and didn't even know where to look from there. So. I'm very happy that you were told of this store, that we went and checked this store out. I can't wait to go back because I did leave a lot of things behind. Definitely a <laughs> store that's going to need some repeat visits though. One more time, Nikki, thank you so much for letting us know about this awesome shop. You're, you're very, very lucky to work there. <laughs> she couldn't do it. You'd be pocketing all the toys. I would. <laughs> no paycheck whatsoever. Now, I am going to leave a link in the description down below to their Facebook page. This is Peddler's Post in Bolivar, Missouri. Please check <laughs> them out online if you cannot visit them in person. Give a comment or two if you have anything to say about any of these fascinating figures because this uh, this is an eclectic mix i'm eclectic what can i say <laughs> give the video a like hit the bell subscribe because come on guys how many videos are out there with x-men tv trays mommy tours cyborg spider-man <laughs> hawkeye snake guy what's his king viper, king viper. Oh, that's that's a generic name <laughs> well, look at him he's got snakes all over and as always do not forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public and check out our merchandise and the Retro Refresh merchandise and any other YouTuber that's got merchandise on, on Tee Public. Go over to the Retro Refresh and say hello to us over there. And if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it. Woo! Oh my gosh. For toys! Yeah, we do. This is some, uh, some TLC. Although this is all LC. Lacey collecting. I can always find something to buy. And you buy it for me. I do buy it for you. <laughs> A sucker. That's the Tom part. One born every minute. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. I mean, just anything. <laughs> Thanks, robot. Thanks, robot. I was trying to be very, very good. Unlike the dog. <laughs> Have pets, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun, they said. All right, hey, come on. Shake your gizmo later. That's my frustration. <laughs> oh, this dog, I can't shake you, but I can shake this mug. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare, future Tom. <laughs> <laughs>